Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So this is Glam by Cheryl channel where we do makeup and some occasions no makeup lifestyle things. Okay, so if you are new, please hit the subscribe button. If you are old, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so as we can see, I'm working on a dark skin melanin rich lady. And I promise you guys in my last two videos that I was going to repeat the same look I did on myself on a dark skin person. So we see how that turns out. Okay, so I finished shaping her eyebrows which were very bushy so that I could get the shape I wanted it to take. So now I'm applying the Ponce Primer just to set her face. I already set her face with the Mario desk you set in spring just to because she has a dry face just to dampen her face or moisturize her face so I will be going in with my spoolie so I'm drawing her eyebrows right now and you're using light stroke sorry because the video is a bit um, sped up so I may be doing things so fast but I'll explain so I'm drawing her eyebrows now and I'm using this pulley. I started with light strokes um, under her brow and now I'm going in with a deep pencil and I'm filling in the brows and I'm brushing them again with this pulley to let all the hair lie down and now I'm using LA Girl Pro Concealer in Espresso to conceal her brows. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm not a fan of big eyebrows guys. So if it turns out so thin, that is how I do my brows. I'm not a fan of big eyebrows sort of. So sorry I'm covering your face. Sorry. I was kind of concealing the top. So yes, so I'm using a buffer brush to clean around the brows to make it, you know, to blend out the concealer. So um, I did the same step for the other eyebrows. So I didn't want to go through the trouble of showing you guys everything. So yes, I'm using some of the concealer on her eyelids to create a, a uniform look around her eyes after the eyeshadow. I didn't want to be so different. So he in this video I'm using the Morph palette, Morph 25C palette, and we are going to create the matte look. So I'm using three shades. So if you want to know the exact shades I'm using, you guys should check out my video and my last two videos. So you guys are going to see it. So because I'm presuming most of you have watched that video. I'm just going straight into using the stuff without showing them. So I'm cutting the crease and I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base and I'm dumping it into her eyes with light, 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 light strokes. Yeah. So you will do it up to the point where you want your last eyeshadow to get to. So now I'm applying the Morph palette and the color in the Morph palette, which you would see in the last two videos. I love this eyeshadow look. When I discovered it, I was like, God, I've been waiting on this for so long to do a matte look and I wasn't getting it. So right now that was, I'm very, very, very happy. And this is turning out quite well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't mind me, I'll be talking a lot in this video, so sorry. You're stuck with me, you know, babies. Okay. So now I'm going in with the eyeliner. And I'm using the Colleen eyeliner to wing her eye. I wanted to give her a, a bit of uh, dramatic 
eyeliner but I ended up doing something little yes. so I'll do the same for the other side so wait wait a minute if you guys haven't booked me yet like I don't know what you're waiting for seriously you have to share this video you have to like it you have to leave a comment and you have to follow me on Instagram at Glam by Cheryl you know so that you can book me for your events for your weddings anyways let's move on so here I'm using the waterline pencil and that on her waterline to give her that whitish effect and I'm going in with the foundation and for the foundation I used a mixture of Maybelline Fit Me plus matte poreless and I added um, I mixed it with the LA Girl Pro Concealer LA Girl sorry LA Girl foundation so yeah to get her tone and shade so and I'm using the BH Cosmetics foundation brush today I didn't go with my almighty flat brush so we are blending this out evenly and now I'm highlighting the four parts of her face her t-zone and I'm using the same LA Girl Pro Concealer in Espresso but I added a little bit of fawn LA Girl Pro Concealer fawn to it and because I'm going with a dull summer look I'm not looking at highlighting so much so as you can see after I blend it out like it just goes into the skin and you can no longer even see the highlight so that's how I want it like we did everything but we like it doesn't look like it so that's the look I was trying to go for so for my beauty blender I'm using the AOA beauty blender and it's doing a wonderful job as you can see and here you can see the buttercup sacha that's what i'm using to bake the highlighted areas So for contouring, hmm, I actually left my contour palette. So I'm improv I'm improvising and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in a shade that is very dark, which is 375. So that's what I'm using to contour hair. And I'm going to go in with the Nika K contour palette. So dusting of the baking powder okay. so the Nika K contour palette the duo contour actually so that's why I'm using contour hair nose right now So I realized there were a few hairs still in between her eyebrows, so I kind of shaved them off. Sorry, guys. So I'm setting her face again with the Mario Badescu setting spray. So I realized the white liner wasn't really popping, so I added a few more. So now I'm going in with my lashes from XOXO Rosé. And this lash style is called a Mecca in the Mintress palette. If you're a makeup artist, you know what's going the situation going on on my hand right now. So forgive me if it looks nasty or anything, but makeup artist goes through a lot so for here i'm using the next bond glow illuminator 
on her cheeks yeah because i want to give her that melanin golden pop Adding on to the blush. Okay, so I'm highlighting her nose as well, as well as on top of her lips. Okay, so this is where I went too much, so I tried to clean it up but you know because most of my items are pigmented i kind of couldn't so i left it <laughs> so i'm going in with beyond beauty nigeria lipstick which i got a few days ago trust me this lipstick is so beautiful so I went in with this lipstick and I'm lining her lips again with another lipstick from Beyond Beauty Nigeria and wine to line her lips. okay she can really talk so she was feeling it so <laughs> with this makeup so if you watch to this point and you still haven't given us a thumbs up please give us a thumbs up because i think we nailed this look so please give us a thumbs up and follow me on ig glam by cheryl and like what you see on my page so i added a bit of nude classic lipstick just to make the lips stand out a bit more because i realized it was down and okay so i think there was a little mishap over there and i didn't see it earlier so i'm really sorry about that so i'm concealing the shape of her lips so that it won't just be like we just apply the lipstick and the lips will be more defined yeah so finally we're done with the look and we are placing on the wig you know so combine it out and thank you guys so much for watching i hope i didn't bore you guys with this video i hope you loved it so you can do this for summer because it's not too loud and it's quick to do so thank you guys so 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 much for watching and if you haven't booked me yet please book me and let's get this video to a thousand likes share share this video to your dark melanin friends even your fair ones let them come and try me out so i switched her look to red